In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do some cool techniques on speed ramping. So I'm working with these two clips here, and the first thing I want to do is right click, create a new comp from selection. Now, when you're filming your own footage, it's a good tip to actually shoot in a higher frame rate. Now, for instance, the clip that I have here, I've shot in 60 frames a second. Now, shooting in this higher frame rate will get us much better results. Now, the first thing I want to do is make sure my clip is selected. I'm then gonna come up to layer, down to time and enable time remapping. That's then gonna open up the time remapping function. Now, before we move on, I make weekly tips and tricks videos just like this one. So if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing so you don't miss out. Now, the next part is we just need to work out where we want it to be fast and where we want it to be slow. Now, for the first part, I want this to be fast. So I'm gonna move across to about just after the one second mark and create a keyframe there. Then I'm going to move across where I want it to be slow. So maybe this part here, create another keyframe there. And then I want it to be fast here at the end. So I'm gonna create another keyframe. So now we have four keyframes laid out on the timeline. Now it's just a matter of moving these two keyframes on the outside closer together to speed them up, and then that'll slow down the middle part. So to do this, all I need to do is just grab this keyframe here and move it closer to the start. And at the same time, I'm going to move this one closer to my end point. Then I can bring in the end of my clip here so it lines up with that last keyframe. And then I can create an out point here by hitting N on my keyboard. Now, if I play through this at the moment, you can see that we've got the effect playing out, but it doesn't look that great. Now, a really good tip to getting really good slow motion is to enable frame blending. Now, to enable frame blending, all I have to do is come down here and make sure this is activated for the composition. And if I come down here and hit this once, we now get regular frame blending. And if I click this twice, we then get a function where After Effects will actually digitally put in the frames that are missing in the shot. So the result is a much smoother slow motion. Now if I play through this, you can see how much better that slow motion actually looks. Now the second trick to getting really good results in speed ramping is to work with the graph editor. Now if I come down here and click this button here to activate the graph editor, I can then come down here and click on time remap. And that's going to bring up the graph editor for those keyframes. Now the key here is we actually want to try and create a U shape. So what we do is we drag this second keyframe down here and I'm going to drag out on this little point here. Then I'm going to also drag in on this point. So we end up with that perfect half curve. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side so we end up with that perfect U shape. So I drag down on this point here. I can then drag across and then I'm going to drag in on this little point here and then we have our U shape or what appears to be a half pipe. So now if we actually play through this, you can see how much better those results actually look. Now you can see our footage starts off really fast and then goes down to a really nice smooth slow motion and then goes back out to a really fast end. So that's what these curves are doing here. We're smoothing out that motion of the ramp. Now that's what speed ramping is. We're going from fast to slow and then back to fast, but we're doing it by changing the speed as we move through so we get that nice smooth motion. So now I want my first clip to transition into my second clip. So what I can do is come down here and grab my second clip and just drag that on top. And now we can start this process again. So with my layers selected, I'm going to come up to layer, down to time and enable time remapping. Now I wanna create my in point to start here. So I'm gonna create a point here. I then want it to go fast for this first part. So I create another one there. Then I want it to go slowly through this part and then speed up at the end here. Now, because I don't need the first part of my clip here, what I'm actually gonna do is just drag in on this point here, so it lines up with that first keyframe. And then for the out point, all I'm going to do is line my playhead up here with that last keyframe. I'm then gonna come up to edit and down to split layer. And then I can delete the last part of that clip. Then again, we're gonna repeat that process by moving those two keyframes out. 
So I'm going to drag this one out here, and then I'm also going to drag this one out here. Now at the moment, my middle part is actually quite long. So to reduce this, all I need to do is just grab those last two keyframes and move them in slightly. So I can drag these ones closer to my first two, and then I can move this over to make it match. Then I can add frame blending to that clip by coming down here and clicking twice, and then we're ready to actually add and edit our graphs. So I come back down here to the graph editor, I select that time remap, and these are the four here that I want to change. So again, we want to recreate that half pipe or that U shape in our graph. So I grab my first one here and I'm holding shift on the keyboard so it lines up, and then I'm going to drag in on this point here, and then also on this point in here. Then I can do the same with this point by dragging it down, and then drag in on this little edge here, so now we have our two clips set up with those exact same graphs. So now if you play through this, you can see that we have our two clips transitioning one into the other. Now say I wanna re-time or readjust any of that timing that's going on. So say I wanted to speed up that slow motion or I even wanted to slow down the fast motion. So all I need to do is just come down to the keyframes I wanna adjust. So I'm gonna drag these two slightly in closer and I'm also going to drag this one in a bit closer, and then I'm going to move these end two in slightly more. So you can go back and retime any of that motion depending on the look that you're actually going for. Now one little bonus tip is to actually add motion blur to each of the clips so that it blurs as it transitions from one clip to the other. Now this can simply be added through an effect called CC Motion Blur. Now to add this function, all I need to do is come over here to my effects and presets. If yours isn't there, just come up to window and make sure effects and presets is selected. Then I can simply search for CC Force. And if I click this and drag it onto my first clip here, you can see straight away that it's actually already added some motion blur. Now it's just a matter of readjusting some of these settings. The first thing I'm going to do is turn on native motion blur. I want to adjust the sample rate to be around 16, and then I'm gonna adjust my shutter angle to around 360. Now if I actually toggle this effect on and off, you can see how much better it's actually making the footage look. Now it's just a matter of copying and pasting this onto my second clip. And if I play through this, you can now see we have our finished speed ramp effect. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can also check out more After Effects tutorials over at flatpackeffects.com. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.